Our today's topic is T1 space. What is T1 space? A topological space X star or XT is called T1 space if for any two distinct points X and Y belongs to X such that X not equal to Y. There exist open sets U and V such that such that X belongs to if X belongs to U then Y does not belong to U and if Y belongs to open set V then X does not belong to open set V. So this is the definition of T1 space. Let's move to proper definition of T1 space. A topological space is said to be T1 space if for all X, Y belongs to X, ground set X, there exists open set U and V such that if X belongs to U, then Y does not belong to U. And if Y belongs to V, then X does not belong to U. Here is the figure. We have a ground set X and for any two distinct points X and Y, there exist two open sets U and V such that X belongs to open set U, Y belongs to open set V. Here remember that open sets U and V needs not to be disjoint. U and V can be disjoint and cannot be disjoint. Here we see that U and V are not disjoint and this portion is overlapping portion of both sets U and V. Now let's move to example. If X is equal to AB is a ground set and B equal to phi A B X is a topology on X. This topology is topological space is a T1 space because for any a b belongs to x for a not equal to b here we are just two elements a not equal to b there exist open sets u and uh, sorry there exist open sets a and b both sets are singleton sets such that a belongs to singleton set a and b belongs to singleton set uh, b does not belong to this singleton set a and B belongs to singleton set B and A does not belong to singleton set B. So this is the definition of T1 space. Uh, so definition of T1 space is satisfied. So we can say that here X star, we can write it as star or T, X2 is a T1 space is a T1 space. Next, we have a theorem that every T1 space is a T0 space. So let X be a T1 space. Now, here X is a T1 space and it is given that X is T1 space, so it satisfies the definition of T1 space. So, what is the definition of T1 space? For any X, Y belongs to X, there exist open sets U and V such that X belongs to U, Y does not belong to U. And 
y belongs to b, if y belongs to b, then x is and does not belong to b. Now, this is the uh, definition of t1 space, and we are given that uh, we have to prove that every t1 space is a t0 space, and here x is a t1 space. So, first we applied the definition of t1 space. Now, if we notice this portion of definition for any x y belongs to x there is this open set u and v consider just this open set u such that x belongs to u and y does not belong to u so this becomes the definition of t naught space so thus we can find an open set u such that this portion is considered x belongs to u y does not belongs to u so this is definition of t naught space what is that uh, t naught space t naught space a space in which for every x y belongs to ground set x there exists at least one open set one there exists at least one open set one open set u such that x belongs to u y does not belong to u so if we took uh, we consider open set u we can also consider open set v such that we can say that here y belongs to v and x does not belong to v so we could also consider this definition to prove it as a T naught space. So we need just one open set. So which implies x is a T naught space. So converse of this theorem uh, is not true. What is its converse? Consider the example. Converse is this that every T naught space is not a T1 space. Example we have a ground set. A x equal to A B C and T equal to five singleton set A B A B and ground set X. So this is a topology on ground set X. This topology is a T naught space. Why it is T naught space? We can check it. Cross for any A naught equal to B. We have an open set singleton set A such that a belongs to this set and B does not belong to this set. Similarly, for A not equal to C, we have again this open set which contains one of A and C. So, for any A, B, C, A, B belongs to uh, this ground set X, we can find at least one open set which satisfies the definition of T naught space. T naught space. So, this is a T naught space but not a T1 space. Why this space is not a T1 space? The reason is that for A not equal to C, we cannot find an open set which contains which contains C but not A. So here we cannot find any open set which contains C but not A. Here the only set which contains C is ground set X which also contains set A uh, and which also contains element A and B. So we cannot find an open set which contains C but not A. So within type X, T is not a T1 space.